It's that let you go, no shame on the flow Yeah, 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 yeah It's that let you go Indonesian Air Force sparks LGBT debate, KPK investigates Set Nov's lawyer, and more, the Vice Evening Bulletin Indonesian Air Force says LGBT is a mental illness. On its official Twitter account, the Indonesian Air Force wrote that members in the LGBT community are mentally ill, and that's why they will never be accepted into the Air Force. The LGBT saw a small victory last month when the Constitutional Court rejected a petition to make gay sex and sex outside of marriage illegal. But the LGBT minority is still faced by discrimination, often perpetuated by government officials. Indonesia passport ranks 72nd most powerful in 2018. This year, Indonesia has moved up seven spots on the Henley Passport Index, an annual ranking of passport power by the citizenship advisory firm. But it's still behind its neighboring country Singapore, which is the world's second most powerful passport, just below Germany. KPK to investigate Setia Novdo's lawyer for obstruction of justice. The Corruption Eradication Commission KPK, has obtained an investigation warrant that names Frederick Unati, Setia Novdo's lawyer and Bomanesh Sutarjo the doctor who treated the former chairman of the Golkar party. They will be investigated for alleged obstruction of justice in the EKTP multi-billion USD graft case. Malaysia will pay $70 million if MH370 is found in 90 days. Malaysia has agreed to pay Ocean Infinity up to $70 million USD if the firm could find the wreckage MH370 or its black boxes within 90 days. The US firm will only be paid if it finds the plane. The search operation will start on January 17. In Germany, insulting foreign leaders no longer a crime. On January 1st, Germany finally scrapped the law that made it illegal for people to insult foreign heads of state. The controversial law was last invoked in 2016, when comedian Jan Bahmerman read a poem criticizing Turkish President Recep Tayyip Erdogan on his television show. Japanese astronaut apologizes for saying had grown taller in space. Nor Shij Kanai, who's on the six-month mission to the International Space Station, tweeted on Monday that he had grown 9 centimeters and was worried about fitting into the pod that will take him home. A day later, he retracted his statement and said that he had only grown 2 centimeters. It's normal for astronauts to gain up to 2 centimeters because their spines grow in the absence of gravity. South Korea credits Trump for talks with North Korea. South Korean President Moon Jae-in said that Donald Trump deserves big credit for breaking the ice between the two Koreas for the first time in two years. The talks were held in the South Korean side of the border on Tuesday, and Seoul and Pyongyang agreed to resolve all problems through dialogues. <laughs>